I'm going to show you guys my Flying Rajin build that combines damage with speed, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. If you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like Godfall and other gaming content, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on a video. Real quick, and this is just as important as this video, the Everything Godfall Discord has now gone live. It's a place where the Godfall community, PS5 and PC, can come together, chill, do a little bit of LFG, get information about the game, watch videos, and if you are a Godfall content creator, you can post your videos and when you stream in order to get more exposure. We have well over 50 plus members in only 48 hours, so it's definitely becoming a success. A link to the Discord will be shown on screen and in the description box below. Now, let's get to my build. If you have been watching my last couple of videos, you can see that I have been messing around with a new build. Points if you get the Flying Raijin reference. This build is a combination of Mike T Gaming's Blade of the North Star, Speed Demon 69's Fatal Teleport, and a few changes of my own in order to get the damage that I wanted correct. I will put a link in the description to their original videos if you guys would like to check those out. This build revolves around Soul Shatter damage that Illumina can do with dual blades since that Valor Plates Archon Fury does weak point damage, surety, and spectral takedown. We'll get into what Spectral Takedown is in just a few. Now, this build is a tad bit squishy until you build up your overhealth, and then you cannot be touched. But Spectral Takedown helps with this issue as well. They can't kill you if they can't hit you or see you coming. So let's go ahead and go over the gear first. So to start things out, for the Valor Plate, we are using Illumina. And then for the first weapon, we are using the Twin Dragons. Now this Twin Dragons actually has the Storm Flares primary which while inner focus is active applies soul shatter buildup to nearby enemies and all of your attacks deal soul shatter damage but since it is also a atot weapon it also has a second primary which we gain 15 percent weapon technique charge whenever you defeat a marked enemy then for the secondary we have more weapon technique charge speed and weapon technique charge speed is huge on dual blades Whenever you're using dual blades, please use one with weapon technique charge speed. This will help you build up your northern technique a lot faster. Then we have polarity, I'm sorry, polarity attack charge speed, and then critical hit chance. For the next weapon, which really isn't that important because we're not switching weapons, is the uh, Draft School's Legacy, and this primarily is for the secondary traits, which we get critical hit chance, soul shatter buildup, weapon technique damage, and then critical hit chance. I said critical hit chance at the top, I have meant critical hit damage, I apologize. But primarily we'll be using the Twin Dragons. Next, for the Amulet, we'll be using Mark of the Duelist. Primary on this, restore 98 health whenever you perform a critical hit. Then we have two um, plus 21% critical hit damages, 10% critical hit chance, and then plus 7% Archon Fury duration. Then for the charm, we have the Lion's Talisman, and you need to use this charm in order to maximize the effect of this build. Primary on this is whenever you perform a critical hit, gain 6% weapon technique charge and 31% weapon technique charge speed for 10 seconds. Second area on this is plus 60 weak point damage, 6% critical hit chance, and then 21% critical hit damage. Then coming down, we use Ancestral Band for one of the rings. Primary on this is whenever you hit a weak point, gain 2% Archon Fury charge and uh, plus 38% Archon Fury charge speed for 10 seconds. Secondary, we have uh, shield, I'm sorry, shield damage, takedown damage, Archon Fury charge speed by 14%, and then 22% Archon Fury damage. Next, we have the Zwee's Embrace. Primary on this is whenever you hit a weak point, gain 208 overhealth, and your overhealth no longer degenerates. This is probably the most important thing in order to keep you alive when fighting bosses in the Ascendant Tower of Trials. Everything else on this build, besides the plus 16 physical damage, really is just extra. I really don't do breach damage with this, and I don't really do ailments for bleeding, and the earth resistance is great, but I definitely need a better Zui's Embrace. Next, for the Lifestone, we have the Archon's Tear. Primary effect on this uh, last 10 seconds. It's plus 
critical hit chance and then plus one 45 percent critical hit damage secondary effects also last 10 seconds we get plus 22 percent um dual blade damage plus five percent uh to all wrist resistances plus 11 percent shoulder shatter build up and then 21 percent uh, critical hit damage and then last but not least we use the standard of the golden lion for the banner now i'm thinking about changing this to the mesa's um banner but we'll see what happens uh as for the primary it's only when you're in the banner aura you get plus 34 percent weapon technique charge speed shield charge speed and archon fury charge speed you want to get your weapon technique charge speed and your archon fury charge speed up as fast as possible as for the secondaries they also apply in the banner you get plus 11 percent soul shatter buildup plus 39 percent weak point damage plus 20 percent weapon technique damage and then plus five critical hit chance now we are going to go ahead and look at the attributes real quick we have 2967 might 2889 spirit and then 2193 vitality you want to have as much spirit on this as possible at least within 100 points of your might so you can either have from mine as an example either 3000 spirit or 2800 spirit but you want to keep it in that range because you don't want to sacrifice might for more spirit because might does the power then for the primary dps we have 1447 and then for secondary dps we have 1668 and for the max hp we have 3536 for the critical hit chance we have 39.2 percent critical hit damage 143 percent weak point damage which is 206 percent and then soul shatter buildup which is 103.2 percent now you can go higher in these but if you do that you're going to be sacrificing other places now if you did want to go higher in something I probably would go at least a little bit higher in Soul Shatter buildup. But other than that, the rest of this is okay. Now we will be going into the forge to show you guys what I have for the augments. But unfortunately, due to the augment lag, I will actually show you guys the positions in a picture. So first off, we are starting with Firmament, which this gives me plus 31% Soul Shatter buildup during Rampage. And for the secondary, it gives you Soul Shatter buildup, weak point damage, as well as more spirit. Then we have Razor's Edge, which the primary is whenever you are hit, your next attack deals 29% more damage. That's actually really, really good and really important. And then we also have plus uh, 39 air resistance and then plus 89 spirit. Now, I focus on air resistance on this build because of those little electricity pools that go on the floor that you never really notice that kills you instantly. So air resistance helps out with that a lot. Then for the next augment, we have Primal Energy. And yes, this is a Primal version. I gain 20, I'm sorry, I gain 218 over health whenever I use a Lifestone. And as for the secondary, we have more Archon Fairy damage and then Might. Then we have Force Barrier. And this is really, really important to keep this on your build. Primary reads, while above 50% over health, and you will be above 50% over health, your attacks cannot be interrupted. Um, the only thing that does affect you is grabs from the bosses or any of the um, enemies. Secondary on this, we have plus 34% air resistance. Once again, for those little lightning puddles, plus 17 physical resistance and then plus 106 spirit. Then we have the OP augment. Yes, the overpower augment, Shirty. Unfortunately, I do not have a primal version of it, but I am still grinding for it. Primary reads on this is whenever you hit an enemy with your northern technique expose the enemy's weak point and deal plus 99 percent weak point damage the next time you hit a weak point as for the secondaries we have long sword damage soul shatter buildup and then 40 percent weak point damage and then another plus 20 percent weapon technique damage now if you guys do not know how to get the surety i will put an annotation at the top right of the screen that way you can actually go to a video that i have already made to show you the five ways to go ahead and get shirty next we are going to go over loyalty primary on this is whenever you hit a weak point gain one percent archon fury charge and plus 38 percent archon fury charge speed for 10 seconds as for the secondary we got more soul shatter buildup um polarized duration which really doesn't matter and then plus 21% weapon technique damage. Then we have Cosmic Dance. 
Primary on this is gain the blessing of luck whenever you defeat an enemy with a takedown. Remember, blessing of luck gives you crit hit chance. That's very important. Secondary, plus 21% soul shatter buildup and then plus 21, oh, I'm sorry, plus 20% weapon technique damage. Then we have Divine Conduit, which the primary reads you gain plus 50% Archon Fury charge speed for 10 seconds whenever you are hit. Beautiful. That works hand in hand with uh, Razor's Edge. Then for the secondary, we have plus 39 um, Archon Fury damage and then another plus 19 Archon Fury damage. And then last but not least, for the final augment, we have Focus which you gain 69 over health whenever you perform a critical hit. And then we also have plus 40% weak point damage and then plus 20% weapon technique damage. The majority of all of these work perfectly well together. And so far, the only reason I would change one is to get a better version of it. Next, let's actually go ahead and go into the skills. Now you can go ahead and copy my skill tree if you want. However, what is mostly important is the fact that you have at least five points in takedowns. What this does is it opens up Spectral Takedown. And at level five, it reads, for 30 seconds after defeating an enemy with a weapon technique, you can perform a free Spectral Takedown by holding L2 to aim and R3 to execute. Now this is on the PlayStation 5. It's obviously different on the PC. This is huge. Using Spectral Takedown with Dual Blades while inside your Northern Technique and even if you have your Archon Fury um, proc is amazing. You can one-shot enemies that have shields, you can one-shot enemies that don't have shields, and I so far have been able to stack this up at least five times. So one Spectral Takedown into another constantly on different enemies. Now, this will not obviously work on bosses, but it works on ads and mini bosses very, very well. Okay, so now that we went over all of the gear and all the skills, how do you actually play this build? Well, you always want to start off with your light melee attacks to build up your Northern Technique charge. Then, once as high as you like it, you actually have a few options after you pop your Northern Technique. Option one. You can attack and kill an enemy, then go crazy flying around the map doing spectral takedowns, or you can keep hitting weak points and build up your Archon Fury faster due to the loyalty augment. Either way, you'll be good. This build holds its own on ads and mini bosses, and it melts bosses. The best way to melt a boss is to build up your Northern Technique and your Archon Fury. Once both are up, pop your Archon Fury and then pop your Northern Technique. This will give you more time to hit those crits after your Archon Fury runs out and weak points, then you will be able to get your Archon Fury back and do it all over again. This build is very competitive in the Ascendant Tower Trials or ATOT and I even love using it inside Dreamstones. This is only my version 1.0 and I will be trying to perfect it as time goes on and I kind of already see a few things that I want to change. Like, I cannot express how much fun this build is going from one side of the map to the other, killing enemies, and then melting bosses at the same time. It is just ridiculous. And I promise that if you guys build this, you guys will have fun too. Let me know what you guys think of the build and go ahead and copy it and see if you like it yourself. And if you make any changes to it that allows for more damage, let me know down in the comments below. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. And I will see you guys in the next one.